there are a number of things that are going to come are going to come upon the the church and the land in, in 2024. There, there are two provinces that you must mark in 2024. Durban and the Eastern Cape. I've been, I've been seeing these, these two provinces in the spirit. Number one, this is what the Lord has to say about Durban. The Lord has been saying to me that Durban is like a spiritual door in this nation. And that in uh, between 1997 and the year 2000, the spiritual door opened through the province of KZN, right? KZN, the province, but, but particularly uh, uh, the, 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 the city of Deben. And between 97 uh, and, uh, and year 2000, that door was opened and so much was poured into this country that came through, that came through KZN. And uh, into the into the into the inlands, and and the Lord is saying the seed that was planted then, or what came through that door, the harvest for that seed has now come, and and you're gonna see, um, you're gonna see a, even a greater rise of the apostolic uh, and the prophetic, and um, it's been in its seed form all these years, and the Lord is about to bring it into a place of harvest. But I saw in the spirit more specifically a lot of prophets that will arise out of Devon. And I saw even much more that there are still heavy rains that are going to come in Devon, and there's still going to be floods that are going to come, that are going to come in, uh, in, in, in Durban and, and you know and we don't want people's lives people to lose their their possessions and their lives in the process and I don't think that's the, that's the aim that's the, that's the aim of the Lord but, but I heard the Lord say that the prophetic is going to come like a flood out of the province of KZN that it's going to be a, it's going to be a province that is going to have a lot of reference of prophets that suddenly are going to uh, are, go are going to rise and it's almost like there's going to be like a special gatherings of the Lord of prophetic voices particularly in the city of Deben because that city is a door into the nations there are things that God has done in the past that comes through that city so I saw floods both natural floods and spiritual floods. And so when you see the natural floods come again in KZN, you must know that it's a, it's a sign and a wonder of the flood of the prophetic that is now being released out of that province into the, into the rest of the, of the nation. Does it mean there are no prophets in, a, in, in other provinces? No, it doesn't mean that. But, but the, that land is a signpost. For the, for, the, for the spirit of God. Secondly, I saw the Eastern Cape. I saw the Cape. Let me use, I, I, let me use the Cape. And I, I saw specifically the Eastern Cape. And I saw fires in the Cape. So what you will see in the, in the next coming days, in the next coming months, is wild fires being reported in the Cape. And when I, when I asked the Lord about these wildfires, I, he then showed me a vision of the church as a dry field. The church is a dry field. And he said to me that the, the, the dryness that the church has experienced over the years, now in 2024, he's about to set it on fires of revival. And when you see the fires that will be reported in the Cape, you will know that the, the, our, our nation as it were will catch fires of revival and though and there will be many there will be many reports and 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 this has been very seldom in our nation but mark my words in 2024 there will be many reports of services that start to not end and because there will be such such a glory and a presence of god that people will want to camp uh, to camp around up around the presence of god and i saw what looked like movements i saw in our land, God restoring and raising again movements. You know, the, the, a couple of years ago, about you know, 20, 25 years ago, one of the most significant things that, that had happened in our land was that there were, there were pockets of movements that God raised around, around South Africa. There were, and some of the movements took place in the local church. Some of the movements took place outside of the local church where there were just meetings where, where, where people from different places and different walks and different local churches would just come together for prayers and, and there, there was something that was birthed out of that. I saw the return 
return of the spirit of movements into the land in, 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 in 2024. Because there are things that God must do that don't necessarily, I love the local church. I lead a local church. We, 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 I, I'm a shepherd at heart and I want everybody to, to belong to a local church. But I also know that you can never lock down the Holy Spirit to a local church. There are, there are movements that go beyond the walls of the local church. And as these fires start to spread, they will spread and they will break out in unlikely places. And some of the fires will be caught by the, by, 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 by the churches. And some of the, some of the fires will just, will just be wildfire. You know, I'd rather have wildfires wildfires than no fires at all. <laughs>